Hello, my name is Miss Hurd with Miss Hurd Song Lyrics Podcast. We're doing Season 5, Episode 222 with my first ever Scorpions Miss Hurd Song Lyric. The Miss Hurd Lyric is, And hungry eyes are passing by a sweet, sweet corny soup. And the actual correct lyrics is, And hungry eyes are passing by on streets we call the zoo. Sweet, sweet corny soup. That sounds kind of good right now. It's, it's kind of cold where I'm at, so a soup sounds amazing. But it's not about soup. It's about what they call the zoo, and you'll find out in a second what the zoo is that they're referring when they wrote this song. So I just talked about scorpions last night with my Cherokee friends, and we discussed that most people don't realize they're actually a German rock group, which is amazing with accents and what have you, and they're killing it. They're still killing it since, get this, 1965, so I'll go into it. So The Zoo, it's a song by German hard rock band Scorpions. It was written by the group members Rudolf Schenker, who does guitar, and Klaus Mein, I love that name, whose vocals. The song also features a talk box performed by lead guitarist Matthias Jabs. I didn't even know about the talk box. Who are the Scorpions? And if you don't know who they are, well, get out of the rock that you're living under. They are a German, like I said, hard rock band. They were actually formed in Hanover back in 1965. Cannot believe that. By guitarist Rudolf Schenker with the lineup from 1978 to 1992, what they consider, most people consider their most successful version of the group that includes Klaus Mein, I love to say his name, Klaus Mein vocals, who weirdly looks like another frontman, front Ronnie James Dio. And when I did a search on Ronnie James Dio and Klaus Mein, there's a lot of hits out there of people thinking the same thing. So I'm not the only one. Obviously, good rhythm guitar, Rudolf Schenker, Lead guitar, Matthias Jabs, and bass guitarist, Francis Buckholtz, and then a Herman Rarebell in drums. They said the band's only continuous member has been Sch Schenker, although Klaus Mein has appeared on all of the Scorpion studio albums. They said, while well, Matthias Jabs has been a consistent member since 1978, and then bass bassist Powell, oh boy, how am I saying I say this, Makawoda and drummer Mickey D have been in the band since 2003 and 2016, respectively. And during the mid-1970s, with guitarist Uli John Roth, who replaced Schenker's younger brother, Michael. Oh, I didn't realize his brother was also in the band. Part of the lineup, the music of the Scorpions was defined as hard rock. And I would also say a lot of power ballads. We'll go into that in a bit, too. So after Roth's departure in 1978, Schenker and mine took control of the group, giving them almost all the power to compose all the music and write lyrics. Then Matthias Jabs joined in 1978, and with the, they say, melodic rock he played and the influence of producer Dieter Dirks in the band, that's a German name, the Scorpions changed their sound to melodic heavy metal mixed with lyrical power rock ballads, like I said, which they say is evident in their album from 1979 called Love Drive. Began with the evolution of the band's sound, with recording a developed later in several other albums, and then Michael Schenker also played on the Love Drive album so that's his brother of uh, Rudolph over the next decade the band achieved influence approval from music credits and a lot of commercial success with the albums animal magnetism in 1980 blackout in 1982 love at first thing in 1984 and the live recording of worldwide live in 1985 then came in 1988 savage amusement their best-selling compilation best of rockers and ballads in 1989 and then in 1990 came the album Crazy World, all awarded at least one platinum award in the United States. That's pretty big. They sold a lot of albums. The band had released 13 consecutive studio albums that were in the top 10 in Germany, one of which reached number one, as well as three consecutive albums that were in the top 10 in the Billboard 200 in the U.S. Their latest studio album, called Rock Believer, actually was released last February of 2022. I'll have to check that out. So one of their songs, not the one we're talking about, The Zoo, but... We'll go into that in a bit, called Win Winds of Change, very well-known one. I believe it starts with a really beautiful whistle. It's one of the most recognized hits of theirs, and they said it's a symbolic anthem of the political changes in Eastern Europe back in the late 1980s and early 1990s during the fall of the Berlin Wall, and it remains as one of the best-selling singles in the world with over 14 million copies, so Winds of Change, amazing. Then one of my other favorite songs they do, Rock You Like a Hurricane, it says here, two of the songs on their ninth studio album, Love at First Sting, so Rock You Like a Hurricane and Still Loving You, so Still Loving You, are regarded as some of the most influential and popular works by them, the Scorpions, both in the heavy metal 
genre and rock ballads, also defined as rock anthem. And they say a true hymn of love. I love it. I love me a power ballad. That those that you know me that come with me to karaoke, I always tend to gravitate towards them. Plus, I sound like a white dude, so that helps too. So, Scorpions are one of the best-selling bands in the history of music, according to various sources. They say on the interwebs that the band sell had sold about 100 million worldwide copies, of which 10.5 million are certified in the U.S. Now, remember, this is the time. Nothing was downloaded. People had to actually run, skateboard, walk, drive, whatever, take a bus to their local Tower Records, wherever they bought albums, and buy a record. So that's people actually going to get that. It says all their editions with issued sales certificates have repeatedly reached gold and platinum status in various countries around the world. I just remember hearing them for the first time in the early 80s when I was a young pup when we did a lot of roller skating. I know. Anyway, so Rolling Stone also describes Scorpions as the heroes of heavy metal, and MTV called them ambassadors of rock. They, they being Scorpions, have received many prestigious awards, such as three World Music Awards, a star on the Hollywood Rock Wall, I did not know that, and a presence in the permanent exhibition of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And because they started in 1965, in 2015, they celebrated their 50th anniversary. So add eight years, so now it's the 58th year. That's amazing. All right, let's go back to the song, uh, The Zoo. We were, we were The misheard is so sounding like a sweet, sweet corn soup. So Schenker wrote much of the music during the band's first tour of the United States back in 1979. And then the lead singer Mine first heard Schenker's riff and it said it reminded him of the band's earlier visit to the streets of New York City, humorously referred to as a zoo. So I think the song is about New York City. Mine later composed the song's lyrics, which contains references to city streets, especially New York's 42nd Street. That's right, it's in the lyrics. The song has been featured on a few Scorpions best of compilations, all as well as including Deadly Sting, Bad for Good, The Very Best of Scorpions, the box set Box of Scorpions, and a re-recording version for the Come Black album. It has also been used in the soundtrack of the video game, for those of you that have it, NBA 2K18, so I'm assuming it's the NBA 2018. How did it do with everyone? Well, the song was released as a single in 1980. It They said commercially didn't do well. It actually underperformed with limited chart successes, only peaking at number seven in the UK. But even so, it says it, it's critically acclaimed heavy metal song. One critic noting that the zoo is both ominously slow, because it starts, da -da, da -da, the guitar riff, and melodically accessible, with the key element being the Berlin burlesque vocal melody. And because of this bur burlesque kind of sound, many, they say, strippers use the song in their stage act. I did not know that. So now you know about a little bit more about who the Scorpions are, that they're from Germany, that the song is not about sweet, sweet corn, corny soup, although I want some now because I'm, I'm hungry. Um, and you also know that they've been around since 1965. For some reason in my mind, I thought they came out as early as maybe late 70s, early 80s. I did not realize they were at it so many years even before they hit it big. So they were still, you know, they were still working hard to get their name out there. Obviously, people still love them when they do perform. They do bring crowds in. And I just looked up Klaus Mein and Rudolf Schenker, and they look pretty good. They're, they're still with us. God bless and they're still rocking. But like I said, I thought Ronnie James Dio and Klaus Mind could be the one and the same. If you have any funny suggestions like the Scorpion song, The Zoo, and about sweet, sweet corny soup, you can send us something at any of our social media sites. That's Instagram, Facebook, now X, formerly of Twitter, or you can just send me an old-fashioned email at Miss Her, that's M-I-S-S-H-E-A-R-D, songs at gmail.com. Again, the email has no space, so Miss Heard songs at gmail.com. Till then, keep singing those songs wrong. Bye.